Hello everyone, welcome to Christ Motor GP and welcome to today's topical discussion, debate, whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to be discussing Moto3. So if you didn't see the race of the weekend or in Catalonia, it was for some a very exciting race. Um, for most people it was quite terrifying to see as some of the moves and some of the, the tactics used by riders were very questionable and luckily we, we got away with a few big incidents, the first one being John McPhee's crash where his bike came back onto the track and it actually took down Tatsuki Suzuki and Andrea Mino but thankfully everyone was okay and then the last incident was really the the scurry one with Ayumu Sasaki uh, getting collected um, he, he actually had a high side coming up out of turn 7 going into 8 and then got hit by one of the Leopard Hondas. Thankfully, Ayumu is out of hospital and he's okay. But the talking point of this isn't really so much the incidents, it's more the <sighs> tactics from riders during the race, and even under the last lap. And the question begs, is Moto3 becoming too dangerous? It's a, it's a debate that uh, I think it needs to be kind of put out there, because personally I think Moto3 was one of the best changes to the the, cow, well, the sort of structure of MotoGP and World Championship racing. I think replacing 125s with Moto3 was an absolute masterstroke by the FIM Dorna back in 2011. It's made racing so much more competitive and closer on the four stroke um, machines compared to the old two strokes. But the questionable tactics of weaving down the straight and what we've seen at the last corner with essentially 14 riders taking the last lap of a race like a qualifying session backing each other up because they didn't want to lead on the straight because they knew they were going to get slipstreamed and put to the back of the pack and when you've seen 14 riders going into turn one that guy means separated by a blanket it was quite terrifying and i i enjoy moto 3 racing a lot but that was just a bit too much me and the weaving on the straight was very 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 dangerous because as you know when you're weaving to try and break a slipstream or just to try and get someone off you it it then creates a domino effect through the pack where everyone has to move and if someone goes one way and someone goes the other meet in the middle catastrophic things could have happened but thankfully it didn't what i think is the main solution for this is that race direction need to do something about the antics in the middle of a race. I think that, you know, you're not going to stop people from trying things in a race, but when it kept repeatedly happening throughout the race, it became very difficult to watch in terms of, I just want everyone to be okay. And with the tragic incidents that happened only in Magello with Jason DePasque and qualifying, you know, safety in motorsport has never been better, but things can still happen. And I didn't want an incident happening in a race situation with a lot of riders and I think race direction apparently they've they've had a meeting with the Moto3 riders I don't know how many from what I've read suggested it was basically all the grid but how is that going to stop them give them a, a warning when something needs to be done at the end of a race or something needs to be said to them listen this what will happen this will happen if you do this it needs to be made clearer and I think that, you know, Moto3 riders, they're, they don't care and at, at the racing is, that's why it's great. They take risks, they pull off overtakes that, you know, it, it's just a free for all essentially. But what we've seen in Barcelona did leave a bit of, it was like, okay, kind of calm this down because we don't want anything happening but the racing was just on the edge of just a bit too much and I think that Matt Oxley done a Twitter poll I think it was around Monday or Sunday at the end of end of the race weekend and it was was the race more fun than terrifying or was it more terrifying than fun to watch and I think the I'll put the percentages up on screen now it was like 71 to 28% which is, yeah, it tells you all what you need to know. It was quite terrifying to watch. But I just think race direction need to stamp something on 
the Moto 3 riders, letting them know that this behaviour of weaving in the straight or basically backing up each other into a last corner because they didn't want to lead needs to be stopped because there needs to be penalties. We've seen the penalties for qualifying, for dawdling on the track or waiting to get a step stream, you know, you get you start from the pit lane. So something needs to be done. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Christ Moto GP for, for more content. Check out our weekly Moto GP podcast and yeah, I will see you next time.